Ah, uh, now we're going to try something a little different. Uh, guys, I'm going to call these kind of videos fragrance moments. Instead of um, doing a full on fragrance review where, you know, it has to be kind of more or less scripted. I have to have my talking points. I have to go through my rating system. Honestly, guys, it just takes a lot more time to edit those kind of videos. And with everything else I have to do, it just makes it difficult to just get out more content to you guys. So in these fragrance moments, it's just going to be me talking about two, three, maybe four, maybe even one fragrance, just whatever I want to talk about in a simple, raw, uncut, unedited form. So today I want to talk about two of the best and I think most underrated fragrances on the fragrance market. And they both come from Comme des Garçons. Comme des Garçons, what is this one? Comme des Garçons 2 Men, and this is the EDT. And then Comme des Garçons 2 Men, the EDP. Both of these, in my opinion, are masterful fragrance. I don't want to call them masterpieces, but masterful fragrance. I believe the perfume on both of these was Mark Buxton. Uh, but this one right here, guys, is a fall winter staple for me. It is a it has a little bit of smokiness, uh, an incense -y kind of quality. Uh, guys, this just smells incredible in a leather jacket. This is a straight up balls to the wall masculine fragrance. And every time I wear this, women go freaking nuts. They inevitably stop and ask me, what are you wearing? Because this thing is a throwback. Now you can go look at the note breakdown other places. I'm gonna just tell you, for me, experience wise, uh, the first time I smelled this back when it was released, I was like, wow, if Burt Reynolds was in a bottle, this is what it would smell like. And the cool thing about this is it doesn't lean old man. It smells like a young, hip, urban professional guy, like a guy who's going to just come out of college or and, and just take Wall Street by storm. And you walking into a cigar smoke filled room with a bunch of older executives. And this is the young hotshot that just knows who he is and is a take charge kind of guy. And there's something about him that maybe has like an old soul or something like that. There's just something familiar. That's this fragrance. Now, I think a lot of people have looked over this because honestly, there's so many good fragrances that get released year after year after year. The bottle in and of itself is really difficult to keep on the counter. I mean, you have to have like this little holder. I had to get this little holder to make it make sense. But it is so, so good. And now this one right here is the EDP. But strangely enough, this is kind of like the lighter one. This has an ethereal kind of quality, an inky-like quality. Um, if you look at Nasamato Blamage, often that gets compared to this one. What is this? This feels like we're in something and nothing all at the same time. It's one of those kind of idiosyncratic, kind of quirky fragrances that honestly, guys, it just works. Now, as far as compliments and all that other kind of stuff, neither one of these are compliment monsters, but they're definitely conversation starters because there's a unique quality about them. There's something that just makes the wearer or either the person smelling it just want to know more about it. And that's what I think Comme de Garçon does so well when they capture fragrances. I'm actually going to talk about what I think is probably one of their best fragrance offerings, the incense collection. Yes, I have the entire incense collection. And in my opinion, if you're an incense lover, you have to have those five. They're like the foundation of any incense collection, in my opinion. So more on that later. But just know this, guys. Comme de Garçon Man 2 EDP or EDT. I think if you love fragrances, you need to get these in your collection. Maybe not the 100 ml bottle, maybe get the 50 ml bottle. If nothing else, for the art of fragrance, uh, these things need to be represented. And also, they're a blast to wear. They're just that fun. And the good thing about it is they've been around for a long time, so you can probably find them almost anywhere online. Now, obviously, these aren't in stores anymore, um, so you're going to have to go maybe to you know, one of the online gray markets or a reseller, or if you even on eBay, if you know somebody you trust, grab it. Heck, these actually often float around for swap things too. So they're not extremely expensive. Uh, and for what you get, 
They are incredible. So that's going to be it for the inaugural kind of fragrance moment. Guys, just a behind the scenes look real quick, real casual, how to get more fragrance content out, how to get more style content out as I'm starting to do all these other things. These moments are going to be fragrance, fashion, anything I decide to do so I don't have to sit down and edit a lot of videos. So do me a favor. In the comment section, let me know what do you think. Do you like this format? Do you, if you like this kind of, just kind of, you know, laid back approach, just more just, hey, this is what I think and why I like it. Let me know if you like it. If you don't like it, I'll know by the view count. Do me a favor. Though. I need the feedback. Don't just watch it. Move on. Hit the like button so you'll let me know or hit the dislike button in the comments in particular. I need to hear back from you so we'll know how to proceed. Guys, until the next time, talk to you later. Peace out.